J157 Log 3. In light of the discrepancies that still remain at Chamber 2, which is uh, closer to the outbound area, Wen Hao, Adnan and Jenna have started chasing the buyers uh, on the replies and the dispositions, basically the technical terms for getting the buyers to come back to these discrepancies, the problems, and seeing if there are any updates on the matter on them. And of course, with them chasing, we actually managed to get a number of discrepancies solved pretty quickly. And they were able to get a speedy reply to the speedy, you know, um, reply from us from the supplier on what to do. Or some of these things, they were able, you know, to uh, add the items, things like that. They were able to find a solution to the discrepancy, get it closed, you know. And typically in the past, if you couldn't get to these buyers, maybe you could only close one or two in a day. And then sometimes these were very small parts, not small parts, these were very small shipments with few parts. So, you know, it, it just goes bit by bit, or it was just partial clearance and not a full clearance of shipments. Now, to know how big or how numerous the discrepancies are, it depends on the number of part numbers that are inside the shipment itself. So, if it's a huge shipment, one that contains anywhere between 20 and 50 part numbers, then of course, if it's all under one purchase order, or if all the shipments have some issues, then yes, you're going to have a ton of discrepancies and it's going to give the buyer a headache and the supplier even more work to do. And of course, nobody likes that. So they have to make sure everything's in place. They got their own QC and everything must be double checked just before the supplier sends the stuff over to us through a forwarder or through their own delivery guy. Of course, that is also you know, uh, something that we have to do on our side. But that's the inbound responsibility and ours is the, sorry, that's the outbound responsibility while we we as the inbound, we have to take care of what comes in and note these discrepancies as fast as we, as soon as possible. It's tough to do that sometimes. Um, not because we don't have things to do and not because we cannot handle, but sometimes certain things take priority over others. In times of high volume shipments, these things mean that we have to find a way to efficiently tackle the high workload, you know, and that's the crux of logistics. It's not easy, but it can be done. It just needs us to find a way to efficiently tackle them in the limited amount of time that we have every day to do it. Otherwise, it's working over time will be the only other solution if we don't do it well. Now, if I were to turn my attention back, I'm currently here along the park, and now it's about 9.23. I'm still waiting for Tsensei to come, but he's not here yet. Sorry for my finger there. I don't see him anywhere. I don't know if he's coming late or whatever. Oh wait, he's calling me. Let me just pause this.